So you want to install resource packs in Minecraft Bedrock Edition in 2022. Well, we're going to show you exactly how to do that here. And we're going to be showing you how to do that both on Windows and Android. It's done the exact same way on both of those. And how to do it on iOS. It is done differently on iOS. So keep that in mind. It's all going to be covered in this video. And, and I don't see any reason to waste any time. So let's jump on into it. The first thing you want to do is go to the second link down below. Because we need to download some Bedrock compatible resource packs. Now, here is our list of five resource packs for Minecraft Bedrock Edition. These are all updated to the most recent version as I'm recording this, but that will change over time. So you want to make sure that you are downloading a resource pack that is for the version of Minecraft that you're playing. We try our best to keep our website up to date on these resource packs, but still good to double check. For this video, we're going to install John Smith Legacy, so we need to click on this green download button under it. When you do that, it's going to take us off to the official John Smith Legacy download page, where we want to scroll down and make sure we're downloading the John Smith Legacy Bedrock 1.18.2. 1.18.2 is the most recent version of Minecraft Bedrock Edition, so click on that, and it's automatically going to download in the bottom left. And it's this simple. When it downloads from your browser, if you're on, you're on Android, you may have to be a little quick about this when you click that download link, because it will disappear, but you want to make sure the bottom left Google Chrome, whatever, click on that file you downloaded. When you click on that, it's going to immediately open up Minecraft right like so and install the resource pack. It's that simple. Now, if for whatever reason you're on a browser that doesn't have like a downloads area where you can just click on it, it's going to be in your downloads folder. But as you can see here, there it is successfully installed. If it is in your downloads folder, you can find that by clicking the little notice icon, the top left of my screen, bottom of your screen, and the center of your screen on Windows 11, and then type in downloads. You have this downloads file folder here, and there is the file we downloaded. You can click on it just the same, double click on it, and it will go ahead and import. Now, it'll probably fail here because we've already installed it, right? It's already been imported. Yeah, it's already been imported. Duplicate pack detected. So don't need to do that. But once you have double clicked on it or clicked on it from your browser, whichever one you decided to do, go ahead and click on settings from the main menu. Then go ahead and scroll down and click on global resources. Then finally click on my packs. And there's the pack we installed, John Smith Legacy. Click on activate right like so. And now it appears under your active packs. We can go ahead and go back under settings and it'll reload, activate the resources. And there you go. It's that simple to get this installed. I'm going to jump right into our world here, and that's that. That's how you can install resource packs. All Minecraft Bedrock Edition resource packs are then the exact same way. Just download them and click on them to get them installed. Now, the weirdest thing is that if they are the wrong version, they sometimes just will not work. So keep that in mind. If a pack is not working whatsoever, it's probably not for the most recent version of Minecraft Bedrock Edition. It's one thing I don't like about Bedrock Edition versus Java. You can use older packs in Java. But that's how you do this on Android and Windows. You just click on it from your browser or click on it from your downloads folder. But what about iOS? Well, let's go ahead and jump over to iOS. So here we are on iOS. But before we do jump right on into it, here's a message from our sponsor, which is Apex Minecraft Host. Go to the first link down below the breakdown.xyz slash apex to start your very own 24-hour DDoS protected Minecraft server. We love just them so much. We have our own server. Play our breakdowncraft.com on them. So if you want to start your own server, look no further than Apex Minecraft hosting. Again, you can get a Bedrock server up there set up very, very easily. Even have plugins to a Bedrock server on Apex. It's the first link down below the breakdown.xyz slash apex to get that up and running. Nevertheless, here we are on our website. We want to go ahead and scroll down and again, download any of these packs that you want. Again, we'll go ahead and use John Smith Legacy by clicking the green download button there. So again, it takes off to the download page where we again want to scroll down and select the 1.18.2 John Smith Legacy Bedrock. Then go ahead and click on download here. And when you do that, it's going to download it automatically. Then we want to go over here to the files app, right? So that's Minecraft. We want to go here to the files app. Then we want to, in the files app, and by the way, every iPhone has this, just search for it and find it on your iPhone files. And then open it up. And once you're here, you want to click on the little arrow on the top left and click on iCloud Drive. Then you should have a downloads here. When you do, you're going to have your pack. Now on Android, in Windows, you would just click on this. And if you do click on it, it sometimes will try to open it with Minecraft. As you can see, it's trying to open it with Minecraft now, but it will probably fail. At least a lot of packs fail. So if it fails, what you want to do is actually go ahead and basically click and hold on John Smith Legacy or the pack you're trying to install, and then go ahead and scroll down and click on move. Then when you click on move, what you want to do is find Minecraft here. And then once you've clicked on Minecraft, you want to scroll down and click on games. And then you want to click on com.mojang. And then finally, you want to scroll down and click on resource packs. Then click copy. When you do that, it's going to go ahead and copy that over into the resource packs folder. So when we go back to Minecraft, it will be there. It will be installed. It's that simple, right? So boom, as you can see, failed to import. But because we did the whole thing we just did of moving it in the files app here, right? Because we did that, when we go to settings and then go down to, on the left-hand side, global resources, under my packs, we will be able to see John Smith Legacy there, except it isn't, which is actually somewhat odd. Let me go ahead and 
quit Minecraft and reopen it. I'm guessing that's why we're having that issue. So here we are reopening Minecraft and now it should load in those resource packs. Sorry about that, just sometimes that'll happen. So if we go to settings and then come over here to the left hand side and click on global resources, there it is under my packs, John Smith Legacy. So if it's not there right away, just restart Minecraft and it will work and uh, click on activate. And now it is under the active packs. And if we go back to settings, it will reload and load in John Smith Legacy on iOS. It's that quick, that simple, and that easy to get packs on iOS as well. It's just a little more complicated because you do have to use that files app to, again, move them into the Minecraft folder. And again, that's going to be Minecraft and then games, com.mojang, and then resource packs to get that added. So awesome stuff there. And here we are in Minecraft with John Smith Legacy active. There is John Smith Legacy. We can click play. We can basically get going, right? I'm going to have to update this world, but we have a resource pack installed from a third party on Minecraft Bedrock Edition. It's honestly pretty impressive. And one of the cool things is that you can do this on iOS. Now, if this does break, you do have any issues. It's because the version of the resource pack you're trying to install isn't for the version of Minecraft you're playing. And changing versions and things like that on iOS is very, very difficult. So you need to make sure that the resource pack is updated to the most recent version of Minecraft in order for that to work. So I am going to do a quick jump cut until this terrain's building. This has nothing to do with the resource packs just because I generated a world from a previous like 117 or 115 world into this new world. So going to have to do a quick jump cut. I just want to show you that this is working in game and then we're done. So here we are in Minecraft Bedrock Edition on iOS and uh, well, as we can see here, just because I'm horrible at Bedrock Controls on iOS doesn't mean that the texture pack hasn't worked because uh, it has. Thank you all so, so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel for more incredible content every single day of the week. And check out this video on your screen on how to make a Minecraft Bedrock server. And yes, you can make a Bedrock server and even add plugins on it. Nonetheless, I will see you in the next video. I'm out. Peace.